Oh, that's good. A little, it was a hot one today, not as hot as yesterday, but still, still damn hot out there. It's yes, it was. How's everything been going, getting worked back into the stuff after, you know, missing some time earlier? Good. I feel good, feel healthy. I'm ready to hit the ground run like I've, like I've been doing the past two days. It felt great. What was the offseason like for you? Because you go from, you know, obviously the trade and working for everything you got the first couple of years to all of a sudden being this, you know, coveted piece that several teams are interested in. What would it take us through the process and what was that was like? Yeah, the process was, you know, it was, it was different. You know, it was my first time going through something like that and, you know, being a restricted free agent, I didn't really have much of a decision. To, you know, I didn't really have much control of the situation. The only thing I could control was uh, accepting or not accepting any offer sheet that was sent toward me. And... I kind of had the mindset where I was just whatever happened happened. Didn't really get stressed about it because, you know, why would I, you know, why stress about something that's out of your control? And so, you know, very fortunate for Ryan Poles and the Chicago coaching staff to have faith in me and, you know, want to be a part of their team. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm very happy to, you know, still be in Buffalo with the guys and you know, these are my guys. I didn't want, I didn't want to leave them. You know, it sucked in the situation I was having the, you know. There was an opportunity to leave, and you know I didn't really want that. I wanted to stay here with the guys. And I'm very, very happy. I'm sorry about that. There's been a fair amount of flux for. So you're fine. You're fine the way you were. Just moving up towards you. Thank you. Um, you know, with the group in, in, in general, um, how much of a challenge is that in terms of the cohesion or the communication or whatever you, that you look for uh, on the line uh, in light of the fact you're dealing with a new position coach there and a new offensive coordinator? So I say it again. Like, you know, given the fact there's been a lot of moving parts and guys in and out, you guys really haven't been together as a projected starting five anyway yet. Um, how much of a challenge is that at this point, looking toward the season to, to kind of get things? Uh, yeah, it's very, you know, it'll be a lot of people, you know, had some soft tissue stuff here and there. You know, some people might have missed some practices. Um, you know, it's very important to when we have those walkthroughs, you know, it's, it's important to when we all, you know, some some people might not be might not be full go in practice, but they'll be able to do walkthroughs. And having those walkthrough reps is very important to get you know everyone on the same page, especially as an offensive line, because there's five individuals need to work as one. It's very important to get on the same page, make sure everyone has their eyes in the right spot, and just really make sure the communication is on on point. And do you guys feel like you're playing a little bit of catch up at this point, or is it too early to say? Uh, I don't think we're playing catch up at all. I think I think we're I think we're ready to roll, honestly. I think we feel great as a, as a unit. I, you know, we have a lot of depth, and you know, we have the mindset where if someone's not ready to go, the next person in mentality, and we're going to roll forward. You've always been a guy who can really play all five positions. I mean, is it is it more zeroing in now for you? So that seems like you know your role might be a little bit more changed, and some of the depth they have behind you, or is it still the same thing where you kind of need to know all of that in case something were to happen? Uh, yeah, I mean. Given where I've been the past three years, having that ability where I've played all five positions, um, you know, our offense is very similar to the ones we've had in years past. And so I still, you know, have a good recollection of all those different positions and all those different roles we play. Really, when you when you understand the center position, everything else kind of falls in place. Because if you know center, you know guard. If you know guard, you know tackle, you know tackle, you know tight end. And so it really walk, works inside out. Um, and it's nice having the ability to, you know, this year being focused on one spot, and that's that right guard for me right now. And I, f you know, I feel comfortable. You know, I feel great. So you're saying you know tight ends? Oh yeah, I know tight ends. Yeah. How much, how much uh, knowing that trust that Coach McDermott and this organization has? Like, first of all, trading for you and then bringing you back when you was, you know, on the market per se. How much does that give you the confidence knowing that you have that trust within this organization? You know, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's very, it's nice to be wanted. You know what I mean? You know, it's nice for someone to want you on their team. Um, you know, I have a great relationship with um, McDermott and Bean, and I'm very fortunate to be in the position I am right now, being back with the Buffalo Bills. Oh, I'm sorry. Ryan, what was it last season with you and Dan Dalton? You seem to have, you guys developed a real nice rapport, and it seemed like late in the season, you guys were just firing off, and you could tell you guys had a had something going on. Oh, yeah. Firing off in 10. Dan's my guy, you know. <clears throat> we had a great, we had a great chemistry last year. Um, you know, we were on point. We were, you know, passing off twists. We were, you know, great combos in the run game. And, you know, we, we have a good chemistry. We had a good chemistry last year playing next to each other. You mentioned that skills fairly similar, but what are some places it feels more different from your standpoint? Uh, in terms of? Uh, you know, the offensive coordinator working with Cromer more. Just what feels different for you? Uh, not much, to be honest. You know, it really still feels like the same team it was, the, you know, last year. Um, you know, it's great having 
Aaron, I've been learning learning so much from Cromer. He's such a good teacher. You know, it's great having his his a little fresher perspective. And, you know, he's been around for a long time. He's been, you know, he's been working at a high level with high high like very talented players throughout his career, and he's been very successful with it. And he understands just the game of football so well. You know, X's and O's, offense and defense, and you know, it's it's nice having to learn from him. Examples of that fresh perspective that have helped you. You know, just playing each, you know, every defense you play is going to be different. You know, he he understands that whether, you know, some defenses might be a penetrating, you know, specifically on D line, there could be a penetrating defense where they're just blowing smoke up the A gap or the B gap, and some teams, you know, like the Redskins, there'll be two gappers where they follow the guards, and you know, each each scheme you're going to have to play different technique against. And he understands that because you can't do certain techniques versus penetrators that you can do first two gappers, you know, and he understands, understands that. And, you know, he understands what works and it's, it's nice for, to get that perspective. And, he, you know, like I said, he's been around for a long time and he gets it. He understands it. He knows what works. Oh, I was just going to say, how's it going against this D-line? It's great. You know, we have a lot of talent on D-line. It's, it's, I was just at an interview over there and, just talking about the depth we have, you know, we, you know, starting with you know Von Miller, Greg Rousseau, Ed Oliver, Tim Settle, Jordan Phillips, Boogie Basham. I, mean, I can go on and on. You know, it's it's there's no drop off whatsoever between the ones and the twos. Right, the other day, Josh said that Mitch Morris has been like playing out of his mind this camp and has been really consistent for the offensive line. Um, what is he beyond playing center? What does oh, he bring sure. to the That's unit, right. and, and how has it made a difference this training yeah. camp? You know, Mitch is awesome. Mitch is a good friend of mine. I've been able to learn from him and also, you know, play next to him these past, really, this is his fourth year. Um, you know, I think he's he has over 100 snaps in his career, you know, 100 starts, which is, that's not a lot of people have that in the NFL. Uh, he's played a lot of ball. He's, he's, you know, done a lot of things. And, you know, not only is such a smart and physical football player, he's a great dude and it's, you know, good to have him as a teammate, as a friend. It takes for a line to gel, to really, to to really gel, gel together. together. I mean, it's it's such a you know hard question. It's all different. You know, it's all different. You know, depending on the people. And I mean, right now, I think we're we're, we're such a close knit group as our offensive line. I think. I mean, our chemistry right now is on point. I, I think we're, we're at a good spot right now.